Thank you. Yeah, please. Yeah, uh, thank you, Mr. Madhav. Um, I'm sorry for our delay. Uh, so, <coughs> as uh, you can either sit there, you may you may close the door. And uh, is it okay if I stand here? <laughs> that is okay. Okay, so uh, as uh, you were already informed about the uh, content, uh, you know, the purpose of this seminar, uh, uh, like, uh, the, the focus is more on towards, uh, you know, uh, educating the students, we uh, take final year, third year, and M take first year, second year students, and uh, explain certain things which are not usually seen at a single place. You might find this information in, a, in bits and pieces in the internet. Uh, but uh, putting all the things together and giving a big picture is the main agenda of this particular seminar. Okay. So, uh, thanks Mr. Madhav for the good words that he spoken. So, yes, I keep uh, my interest working on the defense products, you know, defense industry side uh, since from my detailed days in all. Uh, I could I, I could get a chance of working on state-of-the-art projects of Indian Navy, Air Force, uh, and uh, you know army related uh, projects uh, while working in DRDO and even after coming outside the DRDO from last four years I am into uh, of develop design and development of similar systems from the private industry side. So I am keeping an experience working on the both the sides from the defense uh, government side and the defense private industry side. And uh, there are key findings as far as uh, uh, human resource availability in this country is concerned from my perspective, so I keep sharing this kind of, uh, you know, my views with appropriate industry statistics and, uh, you know, latest emerging uh, necessities of the defense industry in multiple this kind of seminars. So let's start. Uh, so the agenda of this, uh, you know, two hour session uh, will be focusing on uh, different uh, defense electronics related things. So first we will talk about what is the aim of this event. And this is uh, not a single event. We are going to continue this as a series of uh, events. So this is first in its uh, class. Uh, and uh, we'll be, in this particular uh, presentation, I'll be talking a lot of surveys and statistics data. Because uh, uh, to create the emphasis on why there is a necessity for uh, especially the undergraduate and postgraduate students at the college level to know that there is something defense electronics industry uh, which is looking for uh, good human resources. Uh, there are enough statistics available worldwide and within our country. So I am presenting uh, those surveys and statistics. And certain uh, surveys related to the skills, like what kind of skill sets become very important. Some of them are readily available. Some of them is a derived content from what is available in the news articles and all that I will be presenting. So since, uh, I mean, it appears most of you are actually uh, students uh, category, so you you have, you have might have not understood the complete, uh, you know, the defense electronics game. So I am going to talk about a very uh, basic uh, terminology of the defense electronics, what is more popularly known as electronic warfare. So I will be introducing some terms, you know, some techniques, some methodologies and all that creates enough platform based on which I can map to your subjects. Uh, you know, your uh, academic topics and how they make relevance to the defense uh, technologies. Yeah. So, looking at like why we are doing this event, you know, uh, the fundamental and the single point goal of this class of events, what we do, is to educate and encourage the academia. Academia, when I say it consists of both students and also professors, assistant professors, universities, you know, all the associated, uh, associated uh, stakeholders in the academics. In, uh, towards defense electronics industry. So defense electronics industry is usually how it is different. Uh, I would say at your level it is more like the similar to a core electronic industry only. So when you say, okay at a college level how a defense electronic industry is different than uh, uh, a core electronic industry, let it be a TV company or a DTH company or some, uh, you know, cell company at all. At definitely at your level, while you are actually uh, at your college level, a defense electronics are the core electronics company, they are one and the same. But the defense electronics having more necessity towards, you know, uh, taking the people, homegrown, uh, you know, human resources, uh, the people who are available in this country, available for the local industry, there is a necessity, there is an emphasis that we will be talking about. So, fun, uh, mainly for our company, okay, we are finding a serious, uh, you know, what is it called, limitation in terms of identifying the human resources 
for our next uh, year projection. So our next year projection clearly says we need to hire at least 20 engineering graduates with electronics background. Maybe some of them could be hardware, some could be software, some could be VLS. In fact, this year, like uh, if I count last six months, we hired more than 10 engineers in this one. And we have a continuous projects in flow and we don't have uh, for our future needs, for our current needs we have, but for our future needs, we need actually more talented, fresh engineering graduates. So that is our first goal uh, behind uh, conducting this kind of series of events. Then we are interested to find serious and talented students. So maybe some people at the you know engineering third year level or the MTech first year level, they might not be knowing that you know these kind of opportunities exist and these kind of industries exist, and they they, they may be willing to look at some immediate uh, short uh, shortcut based uh, you know job opportunities like call centers or some support jobs or some data entry jobs and all. No, I mean we we are our industry is to find out if somebody has got uh, you know fire inside and somebody is uh, willing to spend their time and uh, learn these. Uh, Skill gap, definitely I understand the current day education system in India is not able to give you the complete skill set that is required for you to get job into the core industry. But uh, we, want, we want to launch some programs to identify those people and to train them prior, uh, you know, you finish out and your college days and come out. See, the moment you come out your college days, you know, you have a lot of pressures. Because an engineering student without a job is like an always uh, a topic of discussion in your family, in your friends and everything like that. So obviously the training after finishing your B.Tech is a different training while you are doing B.Tech and Tech is actually different. So we want to address that seg segment of the people who are talented, interested to learn, they have got fire in them but only thing is they don't have the correct direction to set. So we want to set a direction, we want to uh, you know give a mentorship and we want to see that whether they reach our level of expectation. So we will talk more about that in our subsequent uh, sessions. So. When it comes to this, how do we want to do it? We want to offer something called as a defense internship. So, an internship program which is not just for your project period, we want to offer it for more period and all. This we will talk later in our future sessions. And uh, more importantly, we are not uh, intended to limit this particular exercise only for our company. No, we have a lot of sister concerned companies. You know, we work with the big companies where the employee size is more than 1000, more than 300, more than 500. You know, we, we, because we do R&D and they do production, you know, they are our production partners, they are big companies. And it is not important that everybody need to be extremely good at the subject uh, if you want to pursue a core engineering job. No, not required. Even if you have a moderate skill set, even if you have actually reasonable, you know, subject knowledge, if not, you know, very ex extraordinary subject knowledge, still you suit for the industry. But you need some polishing. Okay, so what we want to do is uh, once we take up this pilot program for the you know first few months uh, and uh, once we see that this is actually rolling up, uh, then we wanted to extend our actually focus to other our sister concerns also. So we will, you know, they have already a considerable requests from us, like can you supply four engineers, you know, who are into signal processing side, you know, good. Can you supply five engineers who know RF design? So this kind of request we have plenty from our production partners, big giant companies, you know, they are. So we want to extend that in a subsequent phase. Okay. Can you stop this recording? We'll go to the next.